welcome back to Homestead Corner. Today I have got a $40 Prepper Pantry stock up from Dollar Tree. So today I was able to run into Dollar Tree and do my weekly stock up. So I grabbed $40 worth of stuff, which was my budget for this week, and I got pretty good amount of stuff. I actually found some stuff that was on sale and I was happy about that. So let's jump in and see what we got. So the first thing I got was a gallon of water. Always as much water as you can. Everyone should be putting away as much water as they have space for. It's never going to be enough water for a long-term situation, but it'll get you through that lull until you're able to get out. Um, sometimes when emergencies happen, you're not able to leave your house right away. It might not be safe. So making sure you have tons of water, as much as you can stored in your house is going to be super important. Um, the next thing I grabbed were these two food scoops. Uh, I picked up a different one last week from a different Dollar Tree, but they didn't have that kind at my Dollar Tree. These scoops are not measures, but they're perfect for your five gallon buckets. If you, when you, when, because I believe we'll all be getting in there, um, when you are getting into those five gallon buckets, there's so much in there and scoops are going to be handy to get your stuff out into a smaller container or something like that. So I grabbed two scoops to add to my collection to make sure we have plenty. Um, ideally, I'd like to have one in each bucket while they're open, so while we're digging into that stuff. So I don't have to keep figuring out where I put the dang scoop. <laughs> Just leave it right in the bucket. And they're cheap enough, so you can definitely do that. And the next thing that I found, um, I usually get this Colgate Renew. It's a sensitivity repair. I don't know if you can see that sticker, but they had a ton of these on clearance for 50 cents. So I bought six um, because I buy this all the time for myself and to make sure I can get it at the best possible deal while it was on sale, I grabbed it. They had the shelf stocked full in the other section and this is getting close to the date on it but I'm not real concerned about that. I have honestly never had toothpaste go bad and we always have a good supply. So even if it goes past the date, it's still good. I've never had it go bad. Let's see. And then I picked up a headlamp. These little headlamps for $1.25 are a super good deal. It doesn't come with the batteries. I think it takes um, three triple A's. I think it takes, I can't, I can't really see it. I think it's three triple A's um, for these and they are super bright LED headlamps. For $1.25, you cannot go wrong. And uh, we've always got batteries hanging around the house making sure that we can keep these running. So these are really great for so inexpensive really. And the next thing I grabbed was a few pairs of extra shoelaces. Shoelaces, not just for your shoes, you can use them to tie things up. You can use them in the garden if you need to. You can use them for all kinds of stuff. Um, shoelaces can come in super handy in tons of different situations. It's a nice little piece of rope, basically. So those are good to have. And then, I grabbed one of these small pillar candles. You can easily set this in a mason jar or any kind of jar you have, and it's gonna help it last longer. If you just set it on a dish, it will burn and melt down the sides really fast, but putting these inside a jar will help them last longer. So I always am looking for any kind of candle, really, whatever I like, and the little jar ones that they had last time I went in there, they didn't have any I like the smell of today, so I don't want, I don't really care about smelly candles. That's not the purpose of it, but I don't want to get a bunch of candles that stink. So I went with the fragrance free. It's much easier. And then we grabbed a few snacks for the pantry. Um, we all need to be looking at how to save money in different ways. And this is definitely not the cheapest way to buy these little wisps. These are just baked cheese. They are so good. 
I love these. Um, they're just a little wisp, but these are perfect for when you have to go out for those appointments, things like that, having snacks in your pantry um, instead of going out to eat. Tip, just grabbing a couple packs of snacks or something or making a sandwich and bringing food with you when you're going on a long trip saves tons and tons of money. So, and I also picked up a package of beef jerky. This is quite a small package. It's not very much in there at all. 0.625 ounce, but that's plenty for a snack really in the car. Um, it'll give you that protein you want and keep your belly happy. So I think it's good to have lots of those snacks in the pantry, things that are fairly healthy for you and you can take with you instead of going out to eat because, good Lord, those fast food places are so, so expensive. Um, the next thing I got is this under the bed storage container. This one is a little taller than the other ones. It is six inches tall and you can get uh, two cans in here, most of it, and still it's gonna keep it, keep the dust off it, keep it contained. And uh, it really helps out with storage. Um, under, we have dogs, so under the bed, under the furniture, dog hair lives there. <laughs> You can't stop it, especially with a Malamute. Oh my God, he's like constantly shedding. He sheds once a year, all the time. <laughs> and then I picked up another package of kale. I was looking for greens. My store did not have a lot of greens. Um, I always look for right underneath the name of it. You wanna look for heirloom seeds. If they are not heirloom seeds, you probably are not going to, the seeds that come from it, you're not gonna be able to save them and regrow. You wanna make sure you're getting heirloom seeds. That way, once it grows and you get what you want off it, like kale and, thing, and spinach and um, lettuces and greens and things like that, I let them grow and we cut them numerous times during the year and then towards the end of the year, we let them bolt and then we can collect the seeds from them. But you want to make sure it says heirloom on there so you can collect those seeds after. And uh, so that is definitely important. Um, the next thing I got is an extra pack of clothespins. We use these for chick clips. We use them for all kinds of stuff. Uh, if we have to hang our laundry inside the house during the winter, we do hang our laundry outside in the summertime because it saves tons of electricity from the dryer. Um, having plenty of rope and clothesline is really important. Uh, electricity is so expensive right now and it just keeps going up and it's going to continue. I'm sure it will get worse. Uh, so this is a good money saver, just hanging your clothes up and they smell so good hanging outside on the lot. And uh, the next thing I got is one of these vacuum bags. These are wonderful for all those extra blankets sleeping bags, things like that, that you are storing up in case the heat goes out. You wanna make sure you have plenty of them, but they take up a lot of space. So this helps reduce the space that they take up. You can crush them down with a vacuum by sucking the air out. So I grabbed another one of these. I think I got one a couple weeks ago, but I just wanted another one. And then I picked up this little dish pan Dish pans are really wonderful for all sorts of things. Um, we use these outside in the garden. You can rinse your vegetables. You can have a couple of them set up and sort your vegetables. Um, there's tons of things. You can soak your feet in these. You can do uh, dishes in them when you're conserving water. You wanna make sure your water is not running all the time. You can fill up your dish pan. Um, a couple different ones if you need to, whatever it is. But dish pans are so good. You can lug water in this. You can do all sorts of stuff. These are super handy to have, and we love having them in the pantry. I've got quite a few of them, but I always am like, oh, I wish I had another one of those. So I grabbed an extra one today. And then, let's see. And then I also grabbed some of these little paper baking cups. When we are cooking on the wood stove in our small oven, um, I have the little muffin tins and that's the easiest to cook in there. They cook pretty fast 
and they fit right in that little oven. So I love having these, it helps save on dishes and uh, the pans don't, it doesn't get all stuck on the pan. You don't have to scrub it like crazy. I love these little paper liners. You can use them for all sorts of things also. They have tons of uses and you know, a little bit of wax on this and it's a great fire starter, definitely. Um, the next thing is I picked up a package of baking cocoa. This cocoa is really good. We bought this before and for $1.25, awesome to have in the pantry. So when you do want to, you know, your little kid might want a cake or something and you don't have it, having some of this on hand is going to be wonderful. We love this baking cocoa for all sorts of stuff and I think it's just as good as any other brand. Maybe not Ghirardelli, but you know, it's still really good. It works great. You could doctor anything up, really. And then I picked up a bag of yellow popcorn. This is such an inexpensive snack, making your own popcorn. Um, we don't have a microwave, so I don't buy microwave stuff. And also, popcorn is wonderful to store in your pantry. If you have no flour, you can grind this. If you have a grinder, you can grind this and make corn flour, no problem. So it is wonderful to have and you can make so much stuff with corn flour. So I love grabbing a bag, a big bag of popcorn every time, only $1.25. It's cheaper than any of the other stores. And I know people are concerned about what's in it because it's corn, but it is non-GMO pro uh, project verified. So um, high in fiber, whole grain, gluten-free, all that stuff. Um, it's, it's good. I like the Jolly Time. Then, we also grabbed some paper plates. When the electricity goes down, anything like that, you want to conserve your water. Um, and you don't wanna be wasting all your good water on doing dishes or anything like that. Paper plates are wonderful. Uh, they can be burned after, which is nice. We don't buy the coated ones because one of my kids doesn't like the feeling. Um, but these work perfect, sandwiches, meals, everything. You don't have to, you can just toss them after. You don't have to wash them, which is super handy. I love to have that kind of stuff in an emergency. And also, fork, spoons, knives, another, saves water in an emergency. You don't have to worry about washing all those dishes. I know I don't ever want to wash dishes. <laughs> Uh, the next thing I got was Epsom salt. I get the plain one. The scented ones are really nice if you're using them in the bathtub, but the plain ones, you can use this for so much more in the garden, um, in the bath, whatever. Tons and tons of uses for Epsom salt. So we like to have plenty on hand. And this is a nice two pound bag for $1.25. It really is a good deal. The only other plain bag I saw there, it was a different brand. Um, but it was only a one pound bag for the same price. So I think this one is a super good deal. We like that. And then of course we hit the dry section. I always hit the dry section and I got a bag of lentils and we grabbed a bag of red kidney beans. Um, beans and lentils are a great protein when you don't have enough meat. Um, meat is getting really expensive at the store. My husband looked at a steak today and it was a third of a pound for $10. And we were like, wow, <laughs> not today. <laughs> That's a lot of money. Um, oh my goodness. So the next thing I got is a two pound bag of rice. Another really good deal for $1.25. Um, that is a super good deal. You want to have that long grain white rice. Uh, it is you can doctor it up in so many different ways. And also a bag of black beans because those are always wonderful to have. It's, we love having a variety so we can really mix it up. You know, I don't, if I gotta eat beans and rice all the time, I don't wanna eat kidney beans and rice every day or just black beans and rice every day. I wanna be able to have a variety and make sure you're pounded on those spices. You want a lot of spices. Last few things we are. Let's see, I got a couple more cans of the evaporated milk. It was the last two in the store, so I grabbed them. These are way over a dollar at our local grocery stores. And these are nice big 12 ounce cans. They're not the little teeny ones. 
So we grabbed a couple of those. They only had two, so I got what they had. And we tried this cherry filling that I picked up a couple weeks ago. Yum! So easy. Um, I, if you just make a quick pastry crust, uh, you can just make quick turnovers. Oh, it is so good. Uh, really, and for a buck twenty-five, these smaller cans are great. The other stores have the bigger cans; um, they're a lot more than a dollar twenty-five. But uh, these are perfect for a, a quick snack in the afternoon if you want a little something special after dinner. You know, there's enough here to make them for six, eight, ten people. Even you know, you don't need tons of it, but it's really good. We like it, so I grab more. Then, Last but not least, I grabbed a, the last two cans. <laughs> this was another, the last two um, cans of Polar, the coconut milk. We love coconut milk for all kinds of stuff. My daughter and I love curry and we try to make it as frequently as possible and coconut milk and it makes it nice and creamy and rich and we really like that. So curried lentils, um, any kind of curry that we make, we usually add coconut milk because it's really good. And you can do all sorts of stuff with it. It's a great replacement for milk if you can't have dairy. And that is it for my haul. I spent $40 this week and I got quite a decent amount of stuff for $40. And just remember, it's not how much you spend, it's that you keep going and keep stockpiling because even if you only have $10 and you can only get eight things at the Dollar Tree, that's eight more things than you had yesterday. And that's probably eight things that most of America does not have in their pantry. You're going to be better off than most other people if you start stockpiling. Now, if you haven't, you know, it, now is the time to get moving. And if you are, keep going. Do not stop. This world is so crazy. There is so much going on. We really need to be prepared to take care of our families. And having a stockpile of food is a good, uh, it's going to give you a good head start for when you have to figure out how you're going to supply everything for your family. I will not be surprised if that happens soon as well. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.